Hello and welcome to my video. You clicked on here because it says pantry tour and that is what you're going to get. However, I wanted to bring you in on just a little bit of the process. So there are some things showing you a little bit of the process before. If you wanna fast forward and just see the actual pantry tour, please feel free to do so. Um, but I wanted to just kind of give you a little sneak peek of the, the behind the scenes. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, please like and please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. There's a lot more content coming. Um, I just did an apartment tour. I will link that below. I'd love for you to check that out. You can also see the pantry, a uh, little bit of the pantry in there as well. Um, but I would love to have you join me. Um, so enjoy the tour and let me know, like, what did you use to redo your pantry? Or are you gonna redo your pantry? Are you taking any of my ideas and using them in yours? Um, I do also want to say I did not go to the um, I did not go to the dollar store. I did not go to Target. I did not go to the or the what do you call it the container store. I didn't go to any of these places. I went around my house and I found things and I utilized things because I did not want to have to pay to do this this makeover. I just wanted to be something that was you know economical. We're trying to save for Christmas. We're trying to save for a trip. And I wasn't going to use money to just organize my pantry. It just wasn't that important to have it perfectly aesthetically pleasing to me. So I just used things that I had and you'll see that throughout. But thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And I will see if you, you watched my apartment uh, make or my apartment um, tour video, I briefly came in here. Um, and so this is what it looks like right now. And as I'm looking at it, you know, a lot of it makes sense but I'm like, I can do better. I can make it look a little bit better. I can make things a little bit more easily accessible. Um, so just really quickly, you know, I shop at Costco. Um, so I buy things in bulk and I have got a lot of like canned, you know, tomatoes and tomato paste. I do have some beans. I've got some chicken broth back there, pasta, rice, you know, we've got our protein powder section. Um, you know, hemp seeds, chia seeds, those kinds of things. So I just kind of want to make it a little bit more where it doesn't look like everything's just kind of tossed in here. You know, I have some, you know, I have toaster, salad spinner, food scale, you know, things up top that you don't use that often, your instant pot. I have a bunch of um, jars that I keep because I make a lot of soups and those kinds of things. And those jars are great. They're good for overnight oats and, you know, different things. So I just have those like mason jars stashed up there and then just random other stuff. So this is the before again, just kind of makes sense, but I feel like I can do a little better. So example, this, this is some of the containers that I've had just laying around like this one at one point had cookies in it. These are two containers that are actually, I think designed to go in the refrigerator. I think I used them there at one point. I have these just random wicker baskets. Um, so I'm going to utilize these items as opposed to, like I said, buying other things. So for example, this cookie uh, jar, I'm actually going to place, I have this big bag of cocoa powder from Costco. And you know, I don't care how many times or how good the seals are, you know, they don't always seal back the right way. So I'm going to put this in this container here. Um, and then I'm also going to figure out, my husband has a bunch of random snacks in there. So I'm gonna figure out how to utilize these containers, if at all, for those things. So again, just using what I already I have. I found some here. raisins that, you know, sometimes even if they're in the their original container and you look at them and you're like, okay, there's some raisins. But you know what? I have these jars with these uh, cute little wooden tops. So I'm going to take the raisins and put them in the cute little jar with the top. And then I'm going to actually visually see them in the container and put them where I like to have them, which is like on top of my salads or just snacking on them or whatever the case may be. Sometimes it's also nice to put things in a glass container so you can actually see them, even though I can see that these are raisins. Something about that glass container, I think is gonna be a little more appealing. And guess what? I'm snacking okay, on them. If you've watched any of my Costco hauls, you know that my husband is obsessed with like beef jerky, but this is a healthier one that you get from Costco. Um, and they were on sale. I think they're on sale through the end of September. 
pretty sure, like the 24th or something. Um, so if you haven't grabbed any, grab any. But anyways, so again, found these random. My kitchen is a mess, so we're not even going to go there. But I think I'm going to take these little mini guys, these little mini things, put them in here. Again, visually appealing. And then also, we don't always buy protein, like protein bars. We did this time. They were, I think they were on sale as well. So um, he's been grabbing them on the go, which is nice. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna con somehow put these things into these things. So we'll see how that goes. And there she is. This corner of like, <laughs> uh, like bags are falling. Like you don't realize how untidy, you think something's tidy until it's not. <laughs> Yeah, so now I need to address this hot mess. And I think she's finished. So I'm gonna give you a quick peek inside to see the changes that I made. Um, I have to say again, we are very, very blessed to live in an apartment that provides such a beautiful amount of space uh, for a pantry. And we're also very blessed to be able to have food to put in this pantry. And we definitely know that. So um, I cook a lot, we cook a lot, and so, we need things on hand to uh, cook. We try to cook as healthfully as possible. So this is, um, you know, pretty healthy pantry, I think. Obviously there's a few things in here that probably could be better, but we are human. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this pantry tour uh, now that we have it all pretty and organized. So I did keep the glass uh, ball jars on the top shelf because I didn't really think they needed to be moved. They're totally fine there. Why do you keep the garlic expressions bottles? Because either I can make dressings and put the dressing in there, or honestly, a lot of times I use it for um, plant propagations <laughs> and they're just cute little bottles to have and put the plants in. So I do hold on to those. If I don't, then I definitely recycle them. Um, top shelf, we have my, uh, I'm, lucky that I have a Vitamix and I have two pitchers and that is the bigger one of the two. I don't use that as much. I use that when I make soups and things like that. So that one just kind of stays up there and then the smaller one sits on the Vitamix. I do have a French press back there somewhere. And then I also have a frother. I have two frothers. This one is my backup because I have to have a backup because I've had way too many times that my frother has died on me and I didn't have a backup. So I have a backup. Lucky for that, my daughter was getting rid, rid of it and I was like, yes, please. I have a, a regular crock pot, I have an instant pot, I have a couple um, reusable water bottles that don't fit in our cupboard, so I just stick them up here. Um, salad spinner, some random containers, you know, like if you make food for people on the go. And then I just shoved my lunch box that I don't use that much up here just to have. I did have it like laying randomly on the floor. So I did pick it up <laughs> and put that there for storage. And then just kind of went through these uh, plastic sandwich bags, gallon bags, and that, those kinds of things. I'm just reorganized those. So the ones that are open and that I'm using, I put in this little wicker basket and then the little stash that I have just kind of off to the side. Okay, and so then I changed the this next one to just kind of make sense with like items, which like I said, I did have them making sense, but this makes more sense. So this is where my husband will come and grab his supplements. So his um, protein powder, he usually puts PB2, his electrolytes, oftentimes he has other supplements like creatine or whatever he uses, I don't even know, sitting there. Um, so I just put all of that stuff together here so that he can just grab his protein powder or the, the PB2 or whatever, make his shake and go on his way. Over here is my kind of area. So I have, I, you saw me put the cocoa powder in the picture, into the container there. I do add that often to my smoothies. I use, um, you probably saw this in my grocery haul, uh, one of my grocery hauls, but I use, um, I try to put uh, collagen peptides in my smoothies or in my coffee or in my oatmeal. So I have the Orgain that was on sale. And then I also, I think I have, I guess I only got Orgain. I thought I got vital proteins too. Maybe not. Um, I got the vital proteins and chocolate. That's why. So I have the vital proteins and chocolate. I put that in oatmeal. What I like about this Orgain or the regular, um, one is the protein, the added protein that it has, which is, where's it at? 
I don't have my glasses on. 19. I think that says 19. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm pretty sure it's 19. So there's 19. And then this is my Truvana, Truvani um, vanilla protein powder that I'm almost out of. So I just have everything grouped together to grab um, to make my own smoothie. So that's like breakfast or whatever smoothie items. And then my stash of coffee. I don't know if y'all know about Black Rifle Coffee. Uh, we were in Tennessee over the summer and that was my first time having it and I bought I don't even know how many while I was there bags just to have like for a stash so put all my coffee there I, I like to gr grind my own coffee so I have a little coffee grinder that I just put over here with that as opposed to having it some other random place um, and then I have I do decaf and regular I blend it so that I don't have so much caffeine but I definitely still need the caffeine so I blend the two together for my pour over in the morning and it's delicious but if you have not had black rifle uh, you really need to try it you can also get bags of it on Amazon so anyway very good uh, random jar beets so then I put over in this whole section here I should say these shelves here and over um, like if I'm making dinner or if I'm meal prepping or whatever it is that I'm, I might be doing items together. So we've got canned vegetables here. I like to just have beets on whatever. I'll throw it on top of a salad, rice, whatever it is. So I already have an open jar in the refrigerator. So that's my backup. And then um, we have some canned beans, some canned lentils, and then I have um, dry beans. So I have like pinto, black, northern. I have them already in the jars but then the bits that didn't fit I just have sitting on top of the jar that it goes with because I I you know when I obviously use what is not already in the sealed container so I just left those on the top again I was using containers that I already had I did not want to go out and buy anything I did this even a little bit before I did this actual pantry makeover so I've had those in there but those were jars that I had gotten at Ikea for something else and I didn't end up using it for that so I used them for my beans so that's that and then you come down here to this next shelf and I have like my pasta my rice my quinoa and things that I would use for side dishes or whatever the case may be and so um, that's all together these I use, I got these at the dollar store. I don't know if they still have them there or not. Not, I can't talk, not. Hearts of Palm Pasta. This is so good. Literally found it at the dollar store. And all it is is Hearts of Palm. That's the only ingredient in there. Such a good substitute for pasta. Oh my gosh. And then to be able to find it at the dollar store, I couldn't believe it. So I did stock up. I think I took four of those that them that day I did leave some for others but I definitely grabbed four because I'm like uh-huh I'm here I'm gonna use it uh and then same thing here because you get these uh the palmini which is the same thing hearts of palm I had gotten this at the regular grocery store a couple weeks before and this container itself was like almost four bucks so that was a deal I have not tried these yet I did get these to try the um so let me know if you've tried these the um spaghetti squash it's like dehydrated and then you just put water on it and then it comes back to life so I've not tried that yet I love spaghetti squash I make it myself all of the time but I thought this would be nice to have on hand for those days that I just want to make it real quick let's slide that back in and then yeah so that all that stuff's there and then I if you saw my <laughs> referencing it but if you saw my Costco haul I did grab the Banza uh, chickpea pasta the big bag of it because it was it's super affordable at Costco and then over here I have like my stuff that I would use for ingredient wise or whatever so like chicken stock have that grouped together um, I'm running low so I did note that I needed to grab some more again like I said going through your stuff writing down what you need to pick up looking at expiration dates I did all of that so uh, I do need to, to next time I'm at Costco to grab some I literally especially as we're going into the fall and I make so many soups and so many things that require a stock um, I get this organic chicken stock at Costco all of the time and so I definitely need to restock on that I don't know if you've been uh, I, I keep ref I should be sponsored by Costco I feel like but unfortunately I'm not but hey Costco if you want to sponsor me I'm all about it but they have been having three packs of the Garlic Expressions dressing for 
and that is an amazing deal. So we have stocked up on that. We do make our own dressing sometimes, but this is such a good dressing to have on hand. So we stocked up on that. So that's just kind of sitting there waiting for us. I love this smoked uh, chipotle sauce um, and then just some liquid aminos. Same thing with the Victoria organic uh, marinara sauce. We grabbed that because it was on sale at Costco. So I like to grab stuff when it's on sale, even if I don't necessarily need it when it's on a super sale like that and then I have it in my pantry ready to go. So definitely utilize that with the pasta sauce. Um, the diced tomatoes, the tomato sauce and the paste, that is a really good find at Costco, super affordable. They have it all the time. It was not on sale, but it's still a super affordable price. So I stocked up on that a time or two ago. So those are just kind of in here waiting for some chili and you know some other things, like I said, as we're going into the fall. So loved, love having that stash ready to go and so then I changed this to like the breakfasty shelf I put all of those items together so I've got like my hemp my chia my flax some cereal some oatmeal um this is pancake mix which is the Kodiak uh, power cakes that was on sale this past week so we grabbed we have a stash down there of that but that's this is what we're currently using I like to keep it in containers just keep it fresh um, we do have some nuts. I've got some walnuts and some pumpkin seeds. And then you saw me transfer the raisins into the glass jar with, uh, well, these were already here. These are just dates. So I have those in there too. So these are just things, you know, to bake with, to put in my oatmeal or just, you know, to have on hand, which takes me down to the next section, which is this section right here is for baking. So I've got my flowers back here. I've got some um, potato starch, some cornmeal, those kinds of things, some fla different flowers. This is almond flour. I have regular organic uh, wheat flour back there. And then I'd gotten this big um, um, King Arthur all-purpose flour from Costco. <laughs> Shocker! Um, but yeah, so uh, peanut butter, always using that for baking, using it for sandwiches, using it for to dip my apples in. So I always try to stay stocked on that as well. Maple syrup, you can't beat at Costco. But yeah, these are like my sweet uh, things, peanut butter, applesauce I use for baking or snacking. Uh, we've got some uh, agave back there. We've got some raw honey again from Costco, super cheap. Um, I have some additional cocoa powder back there, some pumpkin puree and my like vanilla cinnamon and that kind of thing i grouped that all together it pretty much already was but i think i added something in there the date yeah i added the date uh syrup back there um nutritional yeast I, my bag was almost empty another good find that i added to my list so i put what i did have i put in the jar here and then i just have my oils to cook with my olive oil my avocado spray um coconut oils back there and then I have um, balsamic um, vinegar regular vinegar like I can't see sorry apple cider vinegar red wine vinegar those vinegars are just kind of shoved back there for I make salad dressings a lot and so those are back there for for me to just grab and then just spices I actually don't have I you know I see these people have like every spice under the sun. And I've been there and done that. And I just don't use them all. I use your usual suspects, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, red pepper flakes, you know, basil, those kinds of things, cumin, um, smoked paprika, you know, those kinds of things. I just don't have that pretty drawer that has seasonings that I don't use. As you get older and you buy things and you've you just realize like, I'm not going to use it. Why, why do I have it? So I just use what I use and have what I need and that's it. All right. So then sliding over here, like I said, I've got my um, baking goods back there. And then you saw me transfer his snacks. This is going to be like his snack and go section when he packs his lunch. Like I pack his lunch, like it's all ready. He just has to like grab it and then put it in his lunchbox. Um, so I just put everything like right together so there was no confusion. When I move things around, sometimes he's like, really, did you move things around again? Like, I don't know where things are. <laughs> so this is pretty easy. I put it basically in the same area it was, I just organized it better. So his beef sticks, his protein bars, and then I, this is where I'm going to put, he has one left because there's another day of the week. I always do his, um, I put, his oatmeal and then some coconut flakes in a jar here for overnight oats but it's not really overnight oats because he doesn't like the overnight oats he just when he gets to work he just adds 
water and then puts it in the microwave and then he tops it with walnuts so um I usually have like five <laughs> sitting in here for five days of the week and then he just grabs them and he goes um <clears throat> so that will be full when next week starts and then he likes which I do too but I'm out of decaf he we have an espresso I usually just do pour over that's kind of my my thing um, and I'm out of my Nespresso pods because I just do the decaf ones. I think I just said that. So, but he has, he uses the, we just grabbed from the regular store, the Starbucks. I think this is the Starbucks uh, Pike's Place, maybe? I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I don't even see it on here. But so yeah, he'll have a little section here for his coffee containers, which again, making the list as I go, we are almost out. So he definitely needs some restock of that. And then I just figured, um, this is like Thomas's, Thomas's English muffins. I actually just have them sitting here for whatever to snack on, to have for breakfast, whatever the heck we decide to do. Those are just sitting there along with rice cakes because both things can be used for like peanut butter with banana on top, you know, whatever that maybe I almost put it over here with the breakfast stuff but then I was like no I had a little area right here I just slid it in there and then onions I try to keep in the pantry so they're out of the light I usually keep them in here with the door closed and I normally have potatoes in here too which again I need to go to the store this is the end of the week and I need to get potatoes anyways I will find a little spot for them I actually had one more basket left out on the counter that I figured I would put the potatoes in and slide them in whenever I get them. I'll make room for them somewhere in here. And then I know this is tacky as crap, but these are his shaker bottles and they just, I don't know, they're just easier there. They're, they don't really do great in the cabinet. They slide everywhere. The lids are with them. They're just in here. He grabs them. He goes. It's just, that is not for anything other than ease of him to grab it and then go on about his, his life. I usually have a ton more plastic bags, but I'm actually out, you know, when you go to the store. Um, so this is where I just kind of slide them in and then just a couple grocery bags here hanging. Uh, and then the lower level, I rearranged and just kind of consolidated some things so that I actually have more room on the floor, which just looks nicer. It's not like I'm having a dance party in here or anything, but it just looks nicer. So yeah, my trash bags, just a big thing of vinegar. Again, some power cakes that we just bought because they were on sale. And then the Cheerios, again, Costco haul. I bought, they had two for like $3.48. So I stocked up on that because I love Cheerios. Who doesn't love Cheerios? And then we, um, I usually keep a stash of water in here just to have on hand. And then I have a Keurig and I have a regular pot just for more so entertaining because I don't really use the Keurig anymore. I just do strictly the pour over or I'll, or I'll do a French press or the Nespresso. So they're just sitting there. I don't want to get rid of them because if I have people over, I'll, I'll pull it out. But um, it's just sitting there doing nothing. It's doing absolutely nothing. A couple random wine bottles back there I had gotten a long time ago. I'm not really a big drinker. Um, I feel like sometimes it's nice to have some around in case somebody comes over that want some or every now and again I'll try some I have some I just I'm just not a big drinker so um and then paper towels Costco shocker I know um I'm running low I wouldn't say I'm running low but um yeah they're just kind of there hanging out so before too long I will have to restock those so anyway and then I normally I it's full right now so I didn't want to my trash can will just go right back here and then I'll slide in because I I mean trash sitting out is not attractive or yeah, so I just shove it in there. But anyway, so there it is. There's me pantry. It looks a lot better. It makes a lot more sense. It doesn't look as cluttered. I love that the floor is not as cluttered as it was. And everything has a place and everything has a purpose. And hopefully it stays this way for a while. Um, <laughs> we'll see about that. But anyways, thanks for joining me. What, like, how do you organize your pantry? Do you have things around to use that you could put in place of, you know, going to the container store and spending, you know, $500 just to make over your pantry? There's nothing wrong with that at all. Like, don't get me wrong. I just didn't want to spend money on it for myself when I can just use whatever I had on hand and, you know, everything makes sense and it's in a place. But I do love, I do love a good aesthetically pleasing pantry now. Do not get me wrong. 
but this one was just a frugal way to just kind of update it a little bit make it a little more organized and yeah so if you like these kinds of videos like subscribe and i would love to hear any feedback that you have and i'd love to hear about your pantry or whatever just i'd love to hear it so thanks so, thanks for hanging out with me if you've made it this long you're a real trooper <laughs> yeah so thank you high five to you virtually